Tell us what's going on in the housing market more broadly in the United States sure. today. It's a continuation of what we've seen the last three years, which is really slim inventory. Mm. We have not built enough housing uh, to keep up with current demand, with population ch changes, and with a growing jobs market. So what we see at Redfin when we're working with buyers is people who are ready to pounce and nothing to pounce on because inventory is so short. But is it harder to pounce because the mortgage rates are going up? Is that starting to bite into the demand a bit? Look. When did you buy your house? What was the market rate? <laughs> okay, they are but, dirt no, no, that's right. cheap. Well, hold on right. a second, though. Still dirt. So it, 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 it's over four percent, but I got mine for three and a quarter, right? So right. if I went to four point one percent now, that would be like a thousand dollar increase. So for you're me. more of a concern to me than a buyer because what will make you leave that mortgage? You may not like your house anymore, but you're always going to be in love with that mortgage, and that's a lot what we're uh, seeing sellers uh, grappling uh, with. And yes, there are some first time buyers in the market now who've never seen a rate over five percent, but what we know is that rates are still fairly cheap. What's what's the, really the headwind is inventory and home prices. So we have a chart that you provided. It's actually on inventory that might illustrate exactly what you're saying. And I hadn't thought of the fact that if you get a really cheap mortgage, you might hold on to that house, and that means it doesn't go into inventory. Exactly. So exactly. we can put up that bar chart that shows the inventory. So we haven't seen any noticeable increase in inventory in over two years. And it's the worse, the more affordable you get into the market. There hasn't been any meaningful increases in starter homes in several years since 2012. And so what we're seeing is that first time buyers just can't compete. There's a lot of investors in there. There's a lot of people who want to turn that single family home into a rental or to a, a, be a condo into an Airbnb. And it's really hard to compete if you don't have the means. 